Welcome to CC Biology TCP. I'm Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. Today we're going to be looking at a May June 2021 paper. It's of course a single award paper, paper two, and we're going to be looking at question number one. We would have answered all the questions for this paper. So if you can't find us, get to the back end of the channel by clicking on the icon, selecting video, and look for the paper. All the agriculture papers are using the same icon. Just look at the thumbnail to see which of the paper it is or the name below the thumbnail. If you have not yet liked, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, or even send us a comment, it is time for you to do so. Please tell us that you are watching the video, you are appreciative of what we're doing, and that helps us to send you more videos. The more you like, the more you share, the more you subscribe, the more you comment, the more you click the notification bell, it reaches a wider audience and it ensures that you are going to be seeing a video that you want to see because you'll be telling us thanks, you'll be telling us I need more of the work. Yes, we're seeing in the comment there are persons who are asking for questions and I got a, a message just last night, I need question number one. And for you, I don't remember the name right now, for you, I'm going to be doing question number one. Let's move right into the questions. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Question number one. Explain the difference between fixed cost and variable cost. These are almost certain words that you're going to be seeing on your exam, be it paper one or paper two. This is the business aspect of agriculture. Now, fixed cost is a cost that does not vary with the production nor sale. It contains your salary, insurance, property tax, interest, expenses, and of course, the depreciation of your assets. While variable costs is a cost that changes based on production and sale. And this could include equipment repairs. It could include your entertainment costs. It could include the visit of a vet. All these are prices that are going to be changing depending on how much work these persons would have done or how much the output is. For two marks, that's adequate. Define the term partial budget. So you would have heard about a budget that looks at the entire operation. Now we're looking at a partial budget, which is pretty much an adjunct to the budget. So the partial budget is used to calculate the financial effect of a proposed change to an aspect of the business. So you would have had your regular budget already, and there's something else you want to get into your production, and you have to do a partial budget to pretty much show how this is going to impact the operation. This is a nice one. You are asked here to analyze what's happening in a table. And to analyze this table, it's very important for you to understand the concept of income, variable costs, gross margin, fixed costs, and of course, net profit. So let's look at what's said here. Farmer Khalil operates a two-acre vegetable farm. He wants to expand his farm to five acres, but is not sure if he should operate mix farm or grow vegetables. Table one shows a budget information for a mix farm and a vegetable farm. Which farmer Khalil 
needs to consider in order to make a decision. So please pay attention to the title here, or the title should be written. A uh, title is usually descriptive of what is in the table. So it says that table one, budget for a mixed farm and a vegetable farm. Right away, you know exactly what is in the table. So when you're making those tables for biology, chemistry, physics, etc. Just take a look at this title. All right, so we are seeing what's happening in the table. We are seeing the income for both sides, the variable cost for both sides, the gross margin for both sides, the fixed cost for both sides. Uh, we are seeing actually the net profit at the end, which is really what matters to um, Khalil because this is going to tell you about the overall income or the takeaway from the venture for farmer. Khalil. So let's look at what the question wants us to answer. Based on the information presented in table one, which of the operations A, mixed farm, or, or a vegetable farm should farmer Khalil operate? Well, if you were supposed to look at the takeaway, you are going to be taking home your net profit. So the net profit suggests here that the mixed farm is going to be a better option than the vegetable farm. So the answer there is going to be mixed farm. Let's look at the others. Using evidence from the table, explain two reasons for your choice in A. Your explanation must compare one option with the other. So we are looking at the net profit for both the mixed farm and the vegetable farm. Now, the net profit for the mixed farm is much higher than that of a vegetable farm. Mixed farm, $2,500. Vegetable farm, $1,000. Hence, the farmer will have a larger take home than if he pursued a vegetable farm only. So, the mixed farm is much a much better option. The other reason. If we were supposed to look at the variable cost of the vegetable farm as to the mixed farm, the vegetable farm, the variable cost was twice as large as that of the mixed farm. This, of course, will negatively affect the net income of any business so you want to have a lower variable costs in order to make sure that you maximize your profit so just one reason why each of the following is important for a farmer to consider when making ad when making decisions we have your gross margin and net profit both of which would have been covered in the table. Now, this is marked out at two. So just one mark for gross margin, one mark for net profit. But I wanted to concretize uh, the definition or the understanding for both. So I added it to my answer. It does not mean that you should do the same for your exam. What you want to do is just to suggest one reason why each of the following is important for a farmer to consider when making the decision. So you would have known the definition and the examples here. So in your exam, all that you need to do is to supply that one reason. All right? So let us just go back to our definition here. Gross margin is a percentage of a revenue left over after subtracting company's direct costs. These include the cost of production or selling the goods or service. Now, one reason 
why this is important is because it helps the farmer to assess the profitability of his production. Now, net profit, on the other hand, is the amount of money the business earns after deducting all operating interests and tax expenses over a given period or over a period of time. Now, this is going to help the farmer to assess the overall profitability of his operation. So the difference here is that gross margin helps the farmer to assess the profitability of his production. But the net profit helps the farmer to assess the overall profitability of his entire operation. That takes us to the end of question number one. There are some thumbnails or videos you can click on screen one or two to get other videos that will be of importance to your study to the top of the screen you'll observe a little white circle with a black exclamation sign you can click that too to have access to other agricultural past paper question until we next meet please be reminded to like share subscribe Click the notification bell and select all and leave us a comment. Remember to like the video that you will form part of your playlist so that if I were supposed to turn it off, you would still have access to the video from your end. Remember to like. To like is just to click that thumbs up there. Thanks so much for watching. Till we see next time, remember to study to show thyself approved.